You know, it's interesting, you, you wrote an op-ed in the Washington Times, you know, discussing um, Obamacare, and what struck me is that, um, you know, I think universally everyone agrees we had to do something with our health care system, something, but you refer to, I think I must take the skin off uh, the supporters of Obamacare, uh, you say that, uh, I suspect they mean the American people be horrified to witness the manipulative and sec secretive strong-arm techniques utilized by the current administration to push through Obamacare. I'm sure they would also be shocked to see an administration that picks and chooses the law, laws it wishes to enforce, thereby diminishing the power of the legislative branch of government. And then you yes. compare it to the Soviet Union. Yes, because, you know, the, the founders of the Soviet Union uh, ran into opposition as well. And uh, they felt that they knew better uh, than the people did. And if they could force upon the people their way of thinking, that the people would eventually come to accept it. Um, and, and this is basically what's going on with Obamacare. The vast majority of Americans are not in favor of this. And, you know, I thought that America was supposed to be for, of, and by the people. I thought it was supposed to be people-centric and not government-centric. And I think there are a lot of other Americans who agree with me on that. And, uh, you know, if we sit by quietly and don't challenge the expansionist uh, philosophy of this government, then pretty soon we will have something very similar to the Soviet Union, where the government is in every aspect of our lives controlling everything that we do, and we simply sit there and watch. We can't do that, and I don't think we're going to do it, quite frankly.